Good morning, my soccer universe. <laughs> We're gonna get to wear my wonderful Valencia jersey again. Uh, but yeah, you read the headline. Yesterday's games were interesting. I think there was nothing really uh, boring. Surely there were. Yeah. Uh, there were two games that were maybe not 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 as exciting as two others. We'll talk talk about that. But after the first round, it feels very much pre-decided. Where we'll get, uh, I mean, almost all the favorites, except one where it wasn't really a favorite, uh, are already pre-wailing. It, it really looks like we'll have um, Chelsea, Benfica, and. Arsenal versus uh, Valencia in the semis, which honestly, that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, the big, the big talking power point will for sure be that you know the uh, London final is possible, but uh, don't don't overlook the Iberian duel. I my gut feeling tells me that whenever we are overlook we're overlooking them they just strike back and we might have well a Valencia against uh, Benfica final but let's roll it back we are not there yet we are not there yet and we can talk about the semi-finals uh, later uh, I was thinking of making a similar prediction video as for the Champions League but I felt I don't want to stretch my luck too much uh, but yeah let's see uh, I think I would have I would not have gotten a result right that much I can say uh, for sure uh, let's start with the, one of the really good games, maybe the big match, when it was Arsenal against Napoli. Uh, Name-wise, this should have been an exciting match. Uh, it was mostly one street football, and the street was going towards Napoli's goal, which is personally for me disappointing. But uh, the writing was a little, little bit on the wall. Napoli really hit a little bit the skits as of late and yeah I think they had an early goal ruled out for offside rightly so and then uh, a wonderful passing move where actually you could see the value of Mesut Özil uh, got him the 1-0 it was basically um, Arsenal got the ball the uh, ball got to Özil who turned around to kind of make the game slow, uh, plays it out, I think it was Lacazette, uh, gets it uh, a one to. No, it was not Lacazette, La, that, that was like, but he, he makes then, uh, with the turnaround, he makes a one two, and with the next pass, he makes the game fast, puts it out to Lacazette, who plays it in from the Midland Niles, who just lays it across to Ramsey for a really wonderfully played. Uh, 1-0. This was an absolutely gorgeous goal. Uh, those are the goals that I personally probably would like most uh, if there's a lot of passing movement. There was nothing Napoli could do about it. Uh, Napoli playing in their black away jerseys, which I don't quite get because I think it would work quite well if they play in um, uh, blue, but as the goalkeeper demonstrated. So I don't think there was really a need for the black jerseys, but whatever. And then Napoli had a really hard time recovering from that blow and they quickly gave up a second, which was um, unlucky. Uh, now the name escapes me, Portuguese sounding uh, guy. Uh, he with a wonderful move gets free to make a shot uh, which actually was not a great shot at all but it gets a wicked deflection by Koulibaly and goes into, into the net. I actually think that uh, had he not made the had this deflection not taken place um, it would have been uh, gone wide from the goal so yeah uh, that's compounding the bad fortune a little bit. So uh, it's 2-0 uh, for Arsenal and Napoli is really hanging on the ropes uh, and don't get much uh, going. There were 
chances for our Arsenal to make it way more comfortable, but there also was a huge chance for Napoli that Zielinski uh, put wide. It, it was all in the second half. Uh, but to, to be honest, the 2 0 is a flattering score for uh, Napoli. That much we can say for sure. I, Arsenal was that much better. And if I would have uh, made I thought it would be 2-1 Arsenal, because I think Arsenal is of course better at home. Now it remains to be seen, what will Arsenal do on the road? Uh, but you know, a 2-0, that sounds pretty comfortable, I would say. Um, another, let's go to the other London team, Chelsea also had quite a few chances, namely Villian actually hitting the bar at Slavia Prague. I mean, Slavia Prague is the nice story of this year's Europa League, but Chelsea clearly seem to be, in all regards, the better team. Uh, they even made enough changes because they're playing Liverpool uh, this weekend. That's one of the games to watch for, I have to say. Um, that's gonna be a tough one for Liverpool, I have to say. Um, well, not, we'll see, but it won't be a 6-0 as Chelsea did. Anyway. Chances, chances, chances. At the end, Alonso finds a breakthrough after um, a cross by Villian. <sighs> what can I say? Uh, it was the almost the expected result. I thought that Chelsea might get, get a win. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I would, would, would have made it uh, one nil uh, if I would have to make a prediction, but uh, it was kind of expected. Um, then. Uh, maybe not a glamour match, but one that I looked forward to because I think Frankfurt can really play well uh, at Benfica. And for once, they did not have the advantage of uh, their fans uh, coming and dominating um, the atmosphere there. This was clearly a Benfica home game, and it took a bad turn uh, right from the beginning when it went 200 minutes. Um, uh, Frankfurt defender. Dicker got sent off by just shoving uh, the attacker in the box. Penalty, Joao Felix. Felix makes no mistake. This kid, this kid is 19 years old. Uh, and he may have had a big night. Makes it 1-0. Frankfurt actually has chances. Uh, and that's, the, that's to their credit. They didn't let themselves go after the red. The red card, they, they continued going forward. Which is actually a good thing. They they didn't collapse because them in a way they did an early in the second half. But it was not. Uh, it it was still a positive move forward. And um, Jovic, who is on loan from uh, who is on loan from uh, Befica, makes the equalizer in the 40th minute. And you thought at that moment. Uh, Frankfurt actually might get a good result out of this if it wasn't for Joao Felic putting one into the net. Um, the commentators said it was a mistake. Uh, I, I know the goalkeeper, if he makes the extra step, he can save this easily. Not so 100% sure, but I can see their point. I mean, um, the ball didn't seem unsavable, but you know. Uh, goals like that do go in at times. Uh, so it's 2 1 at the halftime, and right after the half, corner kick, and again, Kevin Trapp, he did not have half his best time. He comes out for the corner um, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, doesn't get to it. Joao Felic uh, wins the duel for the ball, and it falls from. His head, or I actually think the back from the Frankfurt defender, right towards the head of a Befica attacker. Don't know the name now, I'm sorry, I'm completely blanking today. Uh, and goes into the net to make it 3 1. And shortly after, another really nice attacking move going over the left, uh, crossing in. And Joao Felice makes his third goal, so it, uh, three goals, one assist. 4 1, uh, Befica is cruising. And I thought this could really get ugly for Frankfurt. It didn't, because they moved on back uh, from a corner. Uh, 
with a nice uh, header base, basically going backwards and then head, heading it that way. Uh, it had a nice surf to it and it's 4-2 which I would say keeps Frankfurt a little bit in uh, the balance but honestly Befica is clearly the better team and yeah who has the better result Arsenal or Befica both had a two goal win probably because of the away goals I would give it uh, that Befica conceded I would give it to Arsenal but you know it's pretty much a toss -up. and then we are at the, the Derby della Comunitat between Villarreal and Valencia where right from the get-go, I think it was fifth minute or so, a penalty is given for Valencia. A uh, stupid penalty. It's at the edge of the box, but inside of the box, and it's a stupid tackle. There was no real danger there. Penalty given for Valencia. Parejo steps up. Ball is saved, but Guedes, uh, Guedes slots it home to make it 1-0. Um, to be honest, this should have been called back because there were at least five players in the box already, well in the box when this penalty was taken. Uh, I think VAR should take care of that. That you know, or you know, have have someone stand stand and get the lines. The linesman should be there any, any anyway watching this. I mean, this to me is a more egregious thing than all those handballs where the ball bounces off the body on the hand. That's not a handball, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, Valencia controls the game without controlling the ball for most of the time. It was kind of the... I think they thought this is going to be an easy win for them. Uh, and so they let Villarreal back into to, to the game. It was a, a penalty again. For, was this time given for Villarreal, also very much just judges fight. And I think uh, Santi Cazorla uh, slots that one very nicely home. And it's 1 1. Game on, you think. And then the game kind of falls a little bit asleep uh, to the point that, you know, uh, I was watching the goal zone where they were flip, flipping around the games, maybe a little bit too much almost. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. I, I want to get a feel for all the games, um, but they didn't do too much there. Uh, they, uh, what, 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 what I could gather is that um, VRR is probably even having a slightly better of the game, and uh, you know there was was one game already finished, maybe not quite yet, but um, they were kind of wrapping up. Uh, Chelsea had just scored the goal and then they go over and uh, the Arsenal, okay, it's 2-0, let, let's go to uh, Villarreal. And the commentator said, well, unless there's a penalty, um, it seems like the result is set in stone. And two seconds later, nice ball across the box and David, uh, David Vass, Denmark, wonderful shot slots at home. There were two Valencia players absolutely unmarked in the box. It was an easy goal for him. And then uh, seemingly Villarreal wanted to get something because they were caught on, on the count and Cherishev plays a wonderful long ball um, across uh, the box that finds Gedesh again, who, again expertly I have to say. Uh, the way he took the finishes, and he did not he he hit it clean. He hit it in, into the ground, and it takes a nice bounce into the corner. Three months or two stoppage time goals for Valencia, and they get uh, probably the best result of the night because a two-goal win uh, away from home. That is rarely trouble. So yeah, there we there you have it. Uh, we have Arsenal beating Napoli. 2-0, Valencia winning at Villarreal, 3-1, Chelsea winning at Slavia, 1-0, and Benfica at home to uh, Fra uh, Frankfurt winning 4-2. It's pretty much, it, to me, it seems like the semi-final is already pre-decided. Go I'm gonna be curious what will happen in Frankfurt, what will happen in Naples uh, in next week. But 
it's gonna be a steep climb for those two teams. I think Slavia and Villarreal are already out. I think that will come as no surprise to anyone. Well, let, let me know what you thought um, about yesterday's games. I thought, again, two really good games. Uh, the two home wins and two that were so and so. I mean, Chelsea had chances. I mean, I, it surely was not their fault. Uh, and Slavia, you know, they need to do what they need to do. I think uh, it, it, it was more the Derby de la Comunidad that was a little bit more disappointing. It was also a little bit disappointing color colorwise. I mean, yellow against white, I get it, but color wise, this was not the nicest matchup. I was also disappointed that Napoli played in black. I already said that. I think uh, if that would have been in blue, this would have been a really nice matchup. Uh, but then Chelsea against Slavia was a wonderful uh, matchup uh, color wise. And yeah, Benfica against Frankfurt. I don't like those Frankfurt jerseys. I got a new jersey yesterday. Uh, I shot already a video. I'm not sure I'm gonna post it that quickly because I'm close to getting maybe another one and maybe I'll put those two together. Uh, but have to see how it will go. Um, again, let me know which games you watched. If either you agree with me, disagree with me, any comments below are welcome. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to uh, see more videos of these. Um, like this, I'm trying to really post every day, so commenting on what I'm watching, or maybe some of my jersey collection. I'm gonna do a top 10 soonish again, but I have something really cool in mind, but that's actually closer to finals of the Champions League Europa League so gotta see anyway um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that I want to wish you a wonderful day